Guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday and today we have something special, a upgrade to the editing rig. Studio A is getting an upgrade today. I did not realize that I could have went up in processor speed from what I have. I thought the motherboard was too old to do anything with, but actually this is an AM4 Ryzen 9 5950X and that is going, there it is right there. That is going into the editing rig today, along with some cryonaut liquid metal grease here, thermal grease. We're gonna get that out of the box and get it installed today on Supercar Street Racing. Hang out with us. In front of me on the table here is a AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, as you can see, marked on the box right there. And it is time today to take a look at this and also this nice cryonaut thermal compound. What we're doing is upgrading Studio A. Studio A has a editing rig with a 5900X processor in it. This will be a significant upgrade to the 5900X because it has more cores and it is way faster. So this should upgrade the outside Studio A quite a bit and help prevent some of the issues every once in a while with lag and uh, not being able to scrub the timeline and things like that. I'm hoping this is a big upgrade for that. We already upgraded the RAM to 128 gigabytes as well out there. So this will be the second part of the upgrade. And also we do have to remove a water cooling block from the old CPU to get it out. I have done that before because I did it with the old CPU when the water cooler actually died. So what we're gonna do today is get my editing PC out. We're going to put it on its side in the studio and take out the old processor and hopefully put in this Ryzen 9 5950X. Okay, we did do a project over the weekend with a golf cart battery. So I have all my tools here that actually need to go back outside and I will need to get a screwdriver, a regular screwdriver for taking out the water block. Got the Ryzen 9 right in front of us, ready to be unboxed. Should be pretty quick and easy to unbox this. There is the actual processor. There's the Ryzen 9 5950X right in front of you. So that's it. There's not really much to look at inside the box. Let's get the cryonaut open. Is a tube of cryonaut thermal grease. And it has a verification code as well to make, let you know that it is 100% real. And a little paddle. It says to put a little drop three by three on this processor and spread it evenly. So let's just apply it with a little bit of pressure and evenly, so that's what we will do. We have to go disassemble the PC outside though. Let's get outside and get this thing installed. I
And we're booting up to Windows. Let's open up CPU Z. See what we have. Ryzen 9. 5950X right there installed. 16 cores. Let's look at Task Manager. There's the CPU, there's the 16 core processor. Hey guys, we're back in Studio B now. We spent some time in Studio A upgrading the editing PC out there. That PC originally started with a Ryzen 9 5900X. I wanted a little bit more power out there and I did find out that I could upgrade my CPU to what's on the screen here. This is the Ryzen 9 5950X. This is the fastest AM4 processor available. You can throw this in any motherboard that supports AM4. AM4 is a DDR4 specification motherboard, so you have to use DDR4 RAM with it. And you can see right here, it does have a 16 core architecture and it does have 32 total threads. Its maximum boost clock is 4.9 gigahertz and it's based at about 3.4 gigahertz. It has 64 megabytes of cache. Its TDP is 105 watts total. It is unlocked, so you can overclock it. It uses the AM4 socket and of course it supports Windows and RHEL and Ubuntu. It does not have any graphics built in, so you will have to have a graphics card if you go ahead and get this. And right here on Amazon, you can see that it is $308 right now. If you're looking for it, 308 bucks is about what I paid for it as well, and it was shipped the very next day. Now, I did do some testing on this in DaVinci Resolve Studio, and it is quite a bit faster than my old CPU. And I know a lot of the stuff is graphics card intense, but a lot of the speed change stuff in DaVinci Resolve uses all of your CPU power available and I do a lot of speed changes in my editing so it really helped in that area as well. Even the general performance of the actual PC itself was noticeably faster with the 5950X instead of the 5900X. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and get a Ryzen 9 5950X. Please order it from our official link in the description. It helps us out greatly. When you do that for us, we get a few dollars here and there. Please like and subscribe also. It looks like we're gonna hit 200,000 subscribers probably within the next day, so that's gonna be awesome as well and we couldn't do it without your help. So we really thank you so much for supporting Supercar Street Racing and sticking with us through all these years and making us great. That's gonna do it all for today with this 5950X AMD Ryzen 9. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We actually have a real job.